The U.S. Supreme Court on Thursday upheld Republican-backed voting restrictions in Arizona, a defeat for voting rights advocates and Democrats who challenged the measures. The decision comes as Republican-led states launch a wave of voting curbs in the wake of former President Donald Trump's false claims that the 2020 election was marred by fraud. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. Count the legal votes! Count the legal votes! Arizona lawmakers enacted new rules outlawing third parties, other than immediate family, from collecting and delivering early ballots and restricting where absentee ballots may be cast. Community groups often organize ballot drives for voters who might find it difficult to vote on Election Day or lack transportation to a polling site. A lower court found the Arizona laws disproportionately burdened black, Latino, and Native American voters. But in a 6-3 to three ruling, the Supreme Court's conservative justices held the restrictions did not violate the 1965 Voting Rights Act, which prohibits racial discrimination in voting. The court's three liberal justices dissented from the decision. It is the fight against voter suppression bills like the one we've described here in Texas that have passed or are pending in 46 other state legislatures right now. Democrats have accused Republicans at the state level of enacting voter suppression measures to make it harder for Democratic leading racial minorities to cast ballots. Many Republicans have justified new restrictions as a means to reduce voter fraud, a phenomenon that election experts have said is rare in the United States.